can, I'll do a better job here of uh, building my back pressure. All right, aligning the airplane with the end of the runway, verifying the windsock, checking all my engine indicators, full power. Airspeed indicator is alive, maintaining center line and starting to build that back pressure so that at 65 we just pop off the runway, kind of, sort of. <laughs> oh, I got no flaps no flap. in. It's okay. Shoulder right there. Okay, then you go for 84 now. Uh, gear is in transit, coming up. That'll help us here a little bit. Don't worry about it. That's your before takeoff checklist. Yep. Which would also get your fuel pumps on. And your landing lights on, though. Yeah. <laughs> Got all the Cessna requirements so done. Every time I go someplace, I'm going to do the full check right through here and come back to it. So it's just a quick sweep and it catches everything. There's no reason to do anything else. So it's just both fuel selectors, both fuel pumps, all ignitions, parking brake, chokes, props, throttles, flaps, and gear. And lights. There's my 12. Pierce County track, uh, traffic, twin tech nam 260, Juliet Lima, left crosswind, runway 35 years. Juliet Lima, left downwind, runway 35, full stop at Pierce. I have the traffic in sight, just 342 in Dropping gear. Props can go fall forward at this point. Or do you normally wait for the descent? Uh, no, that's fine right now. Uh, usually, usually between midfield and the first taxiway, I'm looking at prop car beats. And I'm backing that power out here right about the end of the taxiway, 3 5. And I just bring about 19, 17. And then I put in that first notch of flaps. And then I push forward right here to hold 100. And it should be pretty close to, you know, a little bit different than the 80 pitch for a Cessna, but pretty close. And right about here, you know, I've lost 300 feet by making my turn. Pierce County traffic, Twin Tech Nam 260, Juliet Lima, left base, runway 35, Pierce. More importantly, it's 45 degrees on the shoulder, but I, no. I can use the cheat. Uh, slowing up to 90, gears down and green. Down and green and verified. So my nose is just a little higher here, yeah. And maybe a little bit less power. If I think I'm higher, I'm going to be high. So probably about 1500 right now, maybe 14. I've got 1,500 in. And I'm feeling a little high, but not in this plane, because it's, it's going to come in there. So now I'm holding 84. My power is at 1,500. I'm kind of waiting for my sight picture to get close to a normal look here where it touches. Then I'm going to come over to my flaps. Maybe just a little bit longer until I do it. Right about here, I'm putting them in right there. Pushing forward for 84. Keep going all the way to full. And then chop my throttle. Right about here, push forward for 84. I drop my throttle. Now I can spit blue and red, so I bring it up for about 72 ish here. Yeah, Pierce, traffic, that's a Looking for a second strike. Zero. The hospital maneuvered for the down. I was Power's actually all the way going for the taxiway. Oh. Yeah, so power all the way out, though, to get it in there and then build that back pressure to hold that nose up. Don't just let it collapse. Yeah, yeah. and I didn't do my braking very well, but I was using the. First taxiway again was my 
Okay. That's why I was stretching it a little bit. Maximum braking, flaps are up simulated, so I want to do all that. There you go. That makes sense? Yeah, it does. That's kind of how I do it. Just so it's smooth and it's controlled. I got to run through the whole sequence again. 